Okay, so now we're ready to start our painting. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, I'm going to select a new layer and I'm going to look for a color to fill the canvas. Um, I'm looking for a sky blue, um, maybe a little bit grayer. Um, okay, yeah, that looks, that looks okay. Yeah. Next, I'm going to add some clouds. So I'm going to move the uh, color up a little bit, so it's a little bit of a lighter blue. I've selected the concept art brush because it's got a bit of texture to it, and I'm just going to rough in some uh, cloud shapes. So this is this is really loose at this point. Um, not worrying about doing any details outline we just want a basic vanishing point for our clouds and I'm just going to add a darker color to the underside of the clouds um, this will give the effect that they're uh, they're rain clouds or there's there's a storm on the way or something like that it's just a little bit of uh, a value variation Okay, so I've zoomed right out here and I'm using the perspective tool. Um, what I want to do now is just to increase the uh, perspective that we've already got. And this is the this is a little trick that um, that I've found helps. Um, you can warp this as much as you like um, and it it gives a, a pretty pretty good effect so I'm going to create another layer and then just fill in with that sky color and collapse the cloud layer onto that second one uh, I'll just move that around a little bit and we can zoom back in now that didn't really involve much painting at all, so I'm pretty happy with that. It, it's got a sense of perspective. I'm going to duplicate that layer and now I'm ready to start dropping in some mountains. So I've got a rough idea of what I want to do with this painting. Um, it's 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 sometimes good to have an idea what you're doing sometimes it's good just to explore but um, I, I do have a rough idea of what I'm going to do um, that's going to be our mountain in the background so I've selected the lightest value of the landscape um, that we're going to use and now I'm going to drag this down a little bit and we're going to place in some mid-ground values and textures. So I'm looking to create another set of mountains on the right hand side and on this left hand side I think we're going to have a, a cliff face in the foreground. Um, so I've I've dropped that in with the same mid value um, and completely blocked it in and now I'm going to go even darker. We've gone right down now into the lower values and I'm going to block in that that foreground um, cliff face using the uh, the darkest value. And this is still pretty rough at this stage so we don't have to worry about um, any of these marks they're all just there just to give us an idea um, I'll throw in uh, a little bit more um, dark texture there okay now I'm going to use the pointed stump um, now this is a great tool for moving the color around 
on the canvas and blending it with um, existing colors. If you if you drag the um, color around, then you're actually going to end up with a few variations um, when it it blends and creates a um, a value range. Now this brush reacts with um, pressure sensitivity as well. Um, if you put full pressure on when you're selecting um, a part of the canvas, you will continue to drag that colour until you take the pressure off and then the, the colour will start to blend. So we'll just drag this around a little bit more in the background, try and separate some of these um, edges. And we're starting to get a little bit of form um, to some of these some of these mountains. Now this is going to take uh, a little bit of time just to get the whole painting blocked in but we don't have to worry about details at this stage because this is just blocking in and we're, we're basically just looking for some interesting shapes and trying to get an idea about what overlaps what. We're just trying to get an idea of um, the foreground and the midground. Now this will take a while just to uh, block all this in and find all of these edges, so I can speed this up. And because I'm using the, the medium tablet, it's connected to the computer um, via Bluetooth, so there, there isn't any cables on there, it's completely wireless. Trying to create a little bit more form um, and a little bit texture. Now I'm creating a new layer and I'm going to change the um, layer setting to shadow map. Um, and now I'm just going to work over the, the whole painting um, with the, the shadow map. Um, I'm using the concept art brush. It's that brush that we used originally. It's got a little bit of texture to it. I just want to um, take the value down a little bit more. It was it was a little bit light. Um, the shadow map is also color sensitive, so we've got a a blue selected. So it's kind of taking away some of those warmer tones and creating the um, the cooler the cooler look of um, a shadow. Okay, and I've collapsed that layer down. Now I've created a new layer and we're going to drop in a river using the lasso tool. Um, this is common in quite a lot of software as you may have seen this before. Um, it's a selection tool that you can draw onto this screen so it's not just a square or a circle you can actually draw on the shape that you want to um, fill with a color 
in this case I'm drawing in a, a river, a basic sort of river shape and then I'm going to fill this in. So I'm pretty happy with that so let's select a colour from the background uh, a grey blue and fill that river in and you can see me using the uh, express keys there to deselect the selection. Now if you open up the uh, free transform uh, menu I'm just going to change the perspective of this slightly to feel like it's got a little bit more more distance okay and deselect that let's move that into position okay I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that Now I'm creating a new layer. And I'm going to do the same technique, but this time we're going to add some snow onto our mountain in the background. Now if I click down onto the plus button, we can add more than one selection. So I'm going to add a few. Uh, a few different snow uh, sections onto the sides of this uh, main mountain in the background. A few on the other side. One more down here and now I'm going to fill those in um, these are basically going to be our snow snow patches on our on our mountain now they look a little bit sharp so I'm going to select the soften option and I'm just going to soften those a little bit so they're not quite as sharp as they were and we can also do this with the river layer so focus and then soften now I'm trying a quick um, value check and turn this down a little bit and that looks okay uh, saturation I'm gonna take it up a little bit yep okay I'm pretty happy with that In the next video we're going to start to add some color to our painting mm -hmm.